Hello and welcome to the 2020 Democratic primary and today is November 1st. I did not make a video last month, sorry about that, but uh, let's get started. So some interesting data has come out. Warren did, wait where is it? Warren did overtake Biden and the RCP average on October 8th, which was the first time Biden has been in second place overall, not in just like one poll because this one has uh, weren't up seven, but uh, on average, it's, uh, she's down 5.4. So we're going to start out with the Iowa Coxes, which she leads by 5.3, and I do believe she will win the Iowa Coxes maybe even larger than she did. Well, what it's showing. Um, Buttigieg has had a huge um, retake in his campaign. And uh, Sanders got endorsed by uh, AOC, which is a good sign for his campaign. And today there was a major dropout. Beto O'Rourke has announced he is um, dropping his campaign. We'll see if he runs for Senate. Actually, uh, where's Steyer? Uh, New Hampshire, Warren also up four. This is a very interesting state. Um, very tough battle between Sanders, Biden, and Warren. But it looks like Biden is rapidly falling, and it looks like it may continue. Warren has kept a slight lead, and Sanders has come back in the polls there. But I do believe that uh, Elizabeth Warren will win there, too. All right, let's go into the state. I think it's this. Oh, this Nevada. Okay, Biden plus four. This is m pretty major changes that have happened in the state. Uh, Sanders up two. It looked like Sanders was going to take the lead, but Warren has now overtaken him in the polls. And you know what? I do think that the state is trending to Warren in the latest CNN poll which was a while ago, it was a tie, and this was before um, Elizabeth Warren did take the lead. She was down about, uh, I think, s about the same as now, but in other states, she has gone up, and I think in this state, she would too. into the state of South Carolina. In the latest uh, poll that has come out, Post and Courier, Courier um, I don't think this is right, but it's showing a trend that uh, Biden's uh, blue wall is starting to crack, and if that is to happen, he has no chance of getting the nomination, and I still see him winning the state pretty large amount, but Elizabeth Warren is catching up. Six delegates left. Steyer. Yang. I don't know why my... Internet's being weird. K 
California, Warren plus one. I don't believe this bullet says uh, Pine plus 15. It's the only uh, outlier here. Warren plus nine, Warren plus one, Warren plus four, and then Pine plus 15. No, it's um, Elizabeth Warren. I could see winning here about 30%, followed by Biden about 24. Uh, Sanders, I could see getting around 16. Kamala Harris getting about 12. Buttigieg getting around 8. 8% 8 left. Uh, Tom Steyer, probably about 3. Yang. And... Cory Booker. Into the state of Texas. So this is going to be major changes when new polls come out. There's 16.5% of the vote that is going to go somewhere. If it's going to go somewhat to Biden or Warren or Sanders or Harris. Um, it... There uh, is no polls out yet to show where that vote's going to go. I assume it's kind of going to get split up. Um, Joe Biden, I still see winning here. Slightly larger. Elizabeth Warren f uh, f right behind him. Bernie Sanders, about 17% of the vote. Buttigieg, 8. Kamala, 8. Tulsi now Massachusetts which has finally shown Warren leading which I've believed like the whole time this is her home state she's decently popular here and if Biden's leading there in a state that I think uh, Bernie Sanders won there pretty largely in 2016, um, where he now is at 10%, and in a similar group of demographics that Warren and Sanders are after, um, I, I could definitely see her winning your home state pretty large. This is Pennsylvania. Um, Biden plus 10, which is a huge difference from the beginning of the race, um, which showed Biden up tw almost 20, Biden up 26, Biden up 12, and then starting to break recently down to 8 and 12. I still see him winning here, probably about tw uh, 41 delegates. Followed by uh, Elizabeth Warren with about 30, 36. I'm trying to get 35, but, but I can't. Um, 28 for uh, Bernie Sanders. 14 for Buttigieg. Yang, uh, 10. 24 left remaining. Steyer, probably about 11. Klobuchar. About 10. Gabbard, 3. Arizona, the first pull out there, which was very recently. Uh, Biden plus 7. With uh, Buttigieg actually doing better than I expected there. And O'Rourke doing worse than I expected. I thought he'd do pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think Joe Biden would have been here. Um, Elizabeth Warren about six points behind. Somewhat tied with Bernie Sanders. Pujedge up. Kamala. 
Control C Yang. In Wisconsin, Biden plus six point five. Uh, finally, some new polls out here too this month, which is finally time from the Sanders plus fifteen, Biden plus eight, which showed a confusing race here. I was thinking this would go to Sanders, but this is clearly showing uh, Biden in the lead. Um. Who's in second? Warren. That, you know what? I could see that now because um, Warren is on the rise in the progressive wing over Sanders now. Even though Sanders got AOC's endorsement, I still see uh, Warren leading him in the current state. I, You know what? I do think Warren... Uh, this is a hard choice between Warren and Biden winning. I'm just going to give this to Warren, but a very contested race here. Into the same main Warren plus 12. This is very huge compared to Biden's plus eight in June. Yeah, I, I could see her winning here too. She's pretty popular in this uh, in New England. In the state of New York, it is a tie. There has been two pulls out from Siena, and one showing Biden plus five, and the newest one a tie with uh, Biden and Warren. I do see Warren uh, winning here. Um, let's do hundred <laughs> percent. No, like about. Uh, 28 fruit center 64 delegates followed by uh, Joe Biden about 56 delegates Bernie Sanders 45 Pete Buttigieg judge about 29 Steyer about 16 Yang about 14 In the state of North Carolina another sign of Biden's wall starting to crack, beginning of the race, it's showing 17 and 21, and currently 10, um, 11 and 17, which is showing uh, weaker than 21 and 17. Even though one of them's the same, two of the polls are a lot lower now than uh, they were. Joe Biden still would win here about. 40 delegates followed by Warren's 30 delegates and Sanders 22, Buttigieg 7, Harris is 4, Yang's 3, Tulsi's 3, and Steyer's 1. In the state of Ohio, another sign that Biden's wall is cracking. This wasn't really in his wall, but it was very close to it. Um, early on, Biden plus 17, and only Biden plus 2 now, with Sanders catapulting himself to 27%. The latest poll, I do see Sanders winning this state. Actually, oh, this is... Per this is... Ohio's very hard state in the current state it is and um
you know, I could see Joe Biden slightly edging this one out. In the state of Georgia, this is a poll that came out in September where Biden leads 24, followed by Warren Sanders and Harris. This is another one of Joe Biden's uh, blue wall states. Which will get about 40 delegates to him, followed by Warren's 23, Sanders is 16, Buttigieg is 9, Harris is 16, and Yang's one. And in the last state that I took a poll from, in the last, um, last couple of polls, not super old polls, that are irrelevant now, um, out of the state of Maryland, where Biden leads plus twelve, followed by Warren and Sanders. And this would be, I believe, going to Joe Biden with about. 24 delegates followed by Warren's 21, Sanders 17, Buttigieg's 7, Harris's 3, Steyer's 2, Cory Booker 5. In the state of Florida, I do see this one going to Joe Biden with about 70 delegates, 71 delegates, followed by Warren at 60, Sanders at 55, Buttigieg at 25, Harris at 8. Let's actually finish off the Northeast um, with, say, Vermont definitely going into Bernie Sanders column with eight delegates followed by uh, Warren's three, Joe Biden's one, and Andrew Yang's one. Oh, there's three delegates left. In the state of Rhode Island, uh, this one I could also see going to Warren. About seven delegates, Joe Biden six, Sanders six, Buttigieg two, Kamala one, Yang one, and Steyer one. Wait, what state did I do on accident? Did I do? Oh, I did West Virginia. Two left, Yang. I could see grabbing those two delegates. Connecticut, this one I could see. This one would go in Joe Biden's column. New Jersey, uh, Cory Booker has gotten some enthusiasm out with raising, was it six mil or three million in like two weeks, which was his goal, and he raised about like a couple million more than he actually, uh, his goal was. So I think the excitement on his side is slightly up right now and may give him that slight edge over Joe Biden here. as well as Joe Biden on the fall, well, um, relatively since, uh, what, the first debate?
starting to slow down though but recently with uh, Warren on the rise it's giving uh, a tight first place Delaware this would definitely go to Joe Biden West Virginia this is a Sanders state he did very well here in 2016 and he would do it again a lot of voters liked uh, his points Virginia would go to Joe Biden, about 36 delegates, followed by Warren's 28, Sanders 26, and Buttigieg's 9. We're going to go into the Midwest now. Um, Michigan, which would definitely go into the... Uh, um, I can see Sanders... Um, grabbing this one with about 35 delegates Elizabeth Warren with 32 tied with Joe Biden with 32 Buttigieg with 21 Steyer with 2 and Yang with 2 Indiana this is Buttigieg's home state he would carry it with about 26 delegates followed by Joe Biden tied with Warren Sanders following behind. Kentucky would also go to Buttigieg. as well as Tennessee. Seven delegates remain, so not that much. Two, two, three. Let's go to Minnesota. Um, this is Amy Klobuchar's home state. Very, very popular here. And I could I could see her winning her home state. Illinois, uh See Warren winning here with about 33 delegates, followed by Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden tied at 32, Buttigieg at 27, Kamala at 12, Yang at 5, Tulsi at 6, Klobuchar at 6, Booker at 2. Missouri would also go to Warren with 18 delegates, Biden at 15, Sanders at 11, Buttigieg at 10, Kamala at 4, Yang at 8, and Steyer at 2. Into the state of Alabama, Joe Biden. 38, I mean 20 delegates, not 38 delegates, 14 for Warren, 11 for Sanders, 4 for Buttigieg, 3 for Kamala. Mississippi also would go to Joe Biden with about 14 delegates, with uh, Warren at 9, Sanders at 7, Buttigieg at 6. Louisiana as well. 
Joe Biden at 21. Uh, Warren at 13. Sanders at 8. Buttigieg at 6. Cory Booker at 2. Arkansas, Joe Biden at 10. Warren at 7. Sanders at 5. Buttigieg at 5. Kamala at 3. Steyer at 1. Oklahoma, this would be won by Elizabeth Warren. With about 13 delegates, followed by not Joe Biden. Uh, Sanders with 10. Joe Biden with 4. Buttigieg with 3. Tulsi Gabbard at 2. Yang at 2. Uh, uh, Kamala at 3. Kansas, I see <coughs> going to uh, Bernie Sanders. About 10 delegates. Uh, Warren with eight, uh, Joe Biden with four, Pete Buttigieg with three, Kamala with two, Ying with two, Tulsi with two, two and Steyer with one or two. That's fine. Into the state of Nebraska, this would also be won by Bernie Sanders. With about 10 delegates. Uh, Warren at 7. Uh, Joe Biden at 4. Buttigieg at 4. 3. <coughs> and 1 for Amy Klobuchar. South Dakota would go to... Uh, this would go to Joe Biden... With five delegates, Warren with three, Sanders with three, Buttigieg with two, and Klobuchar with one. North Dakota would go to Bernie Sanders. Montana would go to... Steve, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> would go to Bullock. This is his home state, very popular here. Followed by Warren Sanders and Joe Biden. In the state of Wyoming, I could also see this as a Sanders state. Colorado, I also see as a Sanders state. New Mexico, this would be a Biden state. Utah, uh, this would, I think it could go to Elizabeth Warren. Not that many, 10 delegates. Biden with five, Sanders with nine, Buttigieg with three, Steyer with one, Tulsi with one, Idaho would go, I could see going to Elizabeth Warren, followed by Bernie Sanders, uh, Pete Buttigieg wouldn't do too bad here, I don't think. Four delegates remain. Um, Kamala Harris would get one. An Andrew Yang would get one. Steyer would get one. And Amy Klobuchar. 
in the state of Oregon. Um, I could see this going to Elizabeth Warren. She is doing pretty well here in the West Coast. And I think that'll trend into the state of Oregon. As well as the state of Washington, um, I think this one will go to Bernie Sanders, though, but in a very tight race. In the state of Hawaii, the state would go to Gabbard. This is her home state, followed by Sanders. Warren, Biden, in Alaska, this would go to, uh, this I think would go to Warren, Bernie Sanders, Biden, uh, I don't think Buttigieg would do good here, um, Tulsi, and Steyer. Oh, I forgot uh, D.C., which would overwhelmingly go to Biden. And now into the territories. Um, Joe Biden... Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, and here Joe Biden, all the territories are basically going to go to Joe Biden, and here also, Joe Biden. And lastly, the, as it stands, Biden leads Warren, followed by Sanders, then Buttigieg. Finally, we're going to do the super delegates where Joe Biden will overwhelmingly get about 50%. Warren very up, becoming very popular. I could see you're getting a lot of delegates. And then a bunch of mix here. Ending up with Biden with the most delegates. He would not gain the nomination, though. He doesn't have enough. Thank you for watching. Please go like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out. Bye.